Well, it's the first run in 11 days. So today is Sunday. So I've not ran due to my ankle. So I'm just out for a short, easy one now. Just to see how it feels. So that's good. I've just done a mile and a half and my ankle feels okay, but I've turned around, head back, have a three mile run. Don't want to do too much. Make sure it's okay. Good to be out there. So, whilst I've not been running for the past 11 days, I've been trying to improve my glute strength. So I was doing a bit of a search on YouTube, came across this channel, Pamela Reef. Um, don't know if any of you have ever seen any of her videos, but young girl, mid twenties, very slim, not a lot to her. I thought, okay, she's doing a workout for your butt. So, I'll join along, do that, can't be that hard, can it? <laughs> How wrong can you be? There's one point, I'm lying there, been at it for about 15 minutes, trying to do flutter kicks, lying on the floor, I'm sweating, I'm pulling every face under the sun, I'm shaking, struggling to do anything properly, glance up at the TV, and what's Pamela doing? lying there, doing the perfect flutter kick, whilst playing about with her hair. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I was dying. She's doing her flaming hair. <laughs> I've done three miles, and my foot's still absolutely fine. So, excellent. I purposely picked, purposely picked, try saying that quickly, um, this particular path to run on. So it's very smooth. It does go up and down a little, but it's very smooth. So I didn't want to potentially do anything with my ankle. So trying to be sensible. So I'll be three miles done today on the Sunday. Hooray! I'm back running. So it's the Monday run today. So yesterday's run went okay. Ankle felt felt fine on the run. We twinge later in the day, but nothing much. So I'm just doing another easy run today. So I've picked a fairly flat, easy going path, and I'm just taking my time. So the views aren't gonna be amazing, I'm afraid. When I go on my runs where I get amazing views, it's normally a bit more off the beaten path and I don't want to potentially, I don't know, go over on my ankle again. So you're getting easy runs this week. So after yesterday's um, glute, sec glute exercises and the agony I went through <laughs> doing that this morning, was abs so I was working on my abs so again super tricky I'm basically trying to search for what can only be described as the runner's holy grail and that is oh hold on gate coming up There's a seat down here. Let's take a seat. It's a wet seat, but 
what the heck oh, it's not a bad view here so the runner's holy grail what would that be basically a way to reduce your injuries so i've come up with a new plan i've done my a few weeks ago i was doing yoga every day so i did yoga for over a month every day which helped things but i just felt as if it was just loosening things off as opposed to strengthening anything so i've started a new thing of uh, glutes one day abs the next day and then stretching the following day then repeat then a day off and then go through it all again uh, you can certainly feel god man i can't half feel my abs at the moment because as a runner you think you do these things and you know you should improve your your core strength and your glutes your glutes are your biggest muscles you've got so they, they do a lot of work but mine don't because my glutes just aren't very very powerful at all so i'm trying to kick those into life and whilst i'm at that i'll try on my core as well so hopefully we're doing this again it, it's december there's not a lot going on it's dark it's, it's rubbishy weather so i'm gonna try and sort myself out and then get into the new year with a, a good focus of that race in august uh, build up my mileage but before i can build up my mileage i need to iron out any niggles so all sounds good will it work who knows let's find out over the coming months so that was the mile and a half point so turned around heading back get another three miles done and yeah it's no hurry just build up those miles slowly don't overdo it on an injury that you had a week or two ago how you doing everyone well a quick hello from inside the car because when i step out of the car it's pretty cold wet and just starting to rain so i don't know how good the audio is going to be when i'm running so tuesday run super short uh continuing the theme of hard packed easy, easy service surface to run on so i'm just having a run on the road uh, but should have some good views on the road okay let's get out the door and get to it Nearly lost the door there with the wind. Whew. That's cold wind. Man, I'm glad I'm keeping this one short. Flaming freezing. So that was Spud the Piper just past me in his car. So many moons ago when Donna got married up here and Spud the Piper played bagpipes for her at a wedding ever since that day he's had a good business it's amazing what a bit of celebrity help can do So next Monday's video is video on gifts, gifts for runners. So if you've forgotten any last minute gifts for Christmas, check out the video on Monday. Nice little run. Uh, wind picked up when I got back to the car again. And it wasn't too cold apart from my fingers. Gee whiz. Hey. See the difference in the colours? And with this hand, little finger. Uh, that's what Reynolds does to you. Uh, you just lose all sensation of your fingers. So thanks for watching everyone. See you next week.